So Kyle, you've written a book on spiritual practices. And I know in your lecture yesterday, you alluded to the fact that spiritual practices are just a key way of, you know, youth ministry um, or yeah, helping us to respond to idolatry. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me what that looks like in youth ministry? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Um, so I suppose with respect to social media sure. and um, the, the, the idolizing that we've identified and discussed. Um, I th I've been thinking about two practices um, I within the Christian tradition which might attend to those issues, um, one of which Jamie has already mentioned, icon viewing. Um, historically, the way in which Christians have talked about icon viewing is this God gazing back at you. Um, mm -hmm. And I think we all know um, um, you know, via scripture and um, the church, we know how God looks at us. And mm. we know that God doesn't look for mm. uh, perfections. But, but in fact, almost God looks for imperfections to be um, God to us. Um, but, but icon viewing sort of um, gets us to stand before God and see ourselves in the way in which God sees us. Mm. Um, and then... Um, I, I mean, I think there is that awareness, there is that awareness of how God looks at us mm -hmm. um, that we then take and turn and look at ourselves and others in a similar gaze. I also think meditation is another practice um, that is inculcating those uh, thoughts and, and, and doings, if you will, um, that are important for how we see ourselves and how we see our neighbor. When we meditate, we meditate on God's word. We meditate that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that um, our identity is found in Christ, um, not ourselves. Um, and so I, I think constantly retelling ourselves that story, those mm -hmm. truths, that reality, um, not only from the beginning, but the end, um, where we will be and what we will be like is something that we have to constantly remember and imagine, mm -hmm. um, which, I th which I think is really, it, it can, uh, I mean, I think Christians have practiced these for generations because of the habits that they mm. instill and the way in which they form us, that they shape the way that we see ourselves in our world. Um, and so I'm, I, don't discriminate of age. I mean, it's not like I icon viewing or meditation is something you do after you're 16 or something <laughs> like this, right? I think this is something that we should begin um, with young people, that they learn these habits, um, that they engage in these practices. Um, how does this work? What does this mm -hmm. look like on a Wednesday night? I mean, I think the, the first step is introducing them to these practices, mm -hmm. that these, these are... These are practices that um, many Christians, many 16-year-olds before you or 12-year-olds before you have practiced mm. for generations, mm. right? Mm. And this was part of their story, and this is how they dealt with, with idols okay. um, in their own context mm. and circumstances. Um, and so I don't, I don't know if I would say teaching a series, but introducing them to the sort of... Um, knowledge or content of them and simultaneously practicing them, yeah. incorporating them into Wednesday night Bible study. Yeah. Um, when I was a youth pastor many, many moons ago, um, I would do Lectio Divina with mm -hmm. uh, my students, just taking a passage, Gospel of John or Romans or something, um, and, and meditating on that and pondering it and, and mulling over it, that truth, and looking at it from different angles, um, I think that's something that youth workers could incorporate um, during their worship time um, that would begin to um, um, help young people cultivate those practices in their own life when they go home, when they go to school, when they go to work. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. 